A mixed number is a fraction with a whole number and a fraction. Here we have a mixed number, 1 and 3 eighths. This mixed number has a whole number 1 and a fraction 3 eighths. Even though you do not see the plus sign here, these two numbers are actually added. So you can write 1 and 3 eighths as 1 plus 3 eighths. Here we have a mixed number, 4 and 7 eighths. The mixed number 4 and 7 eighths is the same as 4 plus 7 eighths. Here we have a case where a whole number 10 and mixed number 4 and 7 eighths are added. Since 4 and 7 eighths is the same as 4 plus 7 eighths, we can add the whole number together, 10 plus 4 equals 14, and add the fraction 7 eighths. The final answer is 14 and 7 eighths. Here we have a case with two mixed numbers. 1 and 3 eighths is being added with 4 and 7 eighths. These mixed numbers have the common denominator 8, so the answer will have the common denominator 8. Here is a visualization when 1 eighth is being added with 2 eighths. When these two fractions are added, we add one piece out of eight pieces and two pieces out of eight pieces. Therefore, we we'll get three pieces out of eight pieces. As you can see here, the denominator does not change and only numerators have been added. So let's go back to the question again. Here, 1 and 3 eighths is being added with 4 and 7 eighths. And these mixed numbers have the common denominator 8. So the denominator does not change. Here is a visualization. 1 and 3 eighths can be visualized as one whole thing and fraction 3 eighths. 4 and 7 eighths can be visualized as 4 whole thing and fraction 7 eighths. 1 eighth from 3 eighths can be added to 7 eighths to make 1 whole thing. Therefore, we have 6 whole thing and fraction 2 eighths. 2 eighths can be simplified. 6 2 eighths can be simplified by dividing by 2 on both on numerator and denominator. The final answer is 6 and 1 fourth. This is a summary for the quick addition of fractions. When we add fractions, first we add the whole numbers together, then add the fractions together. We have 1 and 4 in the whole numbers, 1 plus 4 is 5, and we have 3 eighths and 7 eighths in fractions. 3 eighths plus 7 eighths is 10 eighths. And the final answer is 5 and 10 eighths. However, 5 10 eighths is an improper fraction. So we are going to change it into mixed numbers. A goes into 10 1 times. 8 times 1 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2, 2 is the remainder. 
ten eighths equals to one and two eighths. Two eighths can be simplified into one fourth by dividing by two on both numerator and denominator. The improved fraction ten eighths equals to the mixed number one and one fourth. Five and ten eighths equals to five plus one and one fourth. We need to add the whole numbers together. Five and ten eighths equals six and one fourth. One and three eighths plus four and seven eighths equals six and one fourth. The final answer is six and one fourth. We can also write the mixed numbers into improper fractions, then add 1 and 3 eighths equals 1 times 8 plus 3 over 8, and 4 and 7 eighths equals 4 times 8 plus 7 over 8, which is 11 plus 39 over 8. 11 plus 39 equals 50. 50 over 8 is an improper fraction. So we are going to change it into mixed numbers. 8 goes into 50 six, 6 times. 8 times 6 equals 48, 50 minus 48 equals 2. So the whole number is 6 and the numerator is 2. And 6 and 2 over 8 and 2 over 8 can be simplified by dividing by 2. The final answer is 6 and 1 fourth. Here we have a 1 fourth is being added with 1 half. We can see the denominator is not the same. We need to change the denominator the same. 4 is a multiple of 2. So we can change the denominator 2 to 4 by multiplying 2 on both numerator and, and denominator. This is a visualization of 1 fourth and 1 half is being added. 1 over 2 is the same as 2 over 4. Now we have the same denominator. 1 over 4 is being added with 2 over 4. The final answer is 3 over 4. This common denominator, short for LCD, is the smallest of all the common denominators. Here we have one fourth and one third. The denominator four and three are not the same. We need to find the common denominator. The least common denominator of four and three is twelve. We need to multiply the same factor on both numerator and denominator. So multiply 3 on both numerator and denominator to the fraction 1 over 4. Therefore, 1 fourth equals 3 twelfths. And multiply 4 on both numerator and denominator to the fraction 1 over 3. Therefore, 1 third equals 4 twelfths. 
Now we have the same denominator, and two fractions can be added. 3 twelfths plus 4 twelfths is 7 twelfths. Here we have 2 and 3 sevenths is being added with 4 and 7 eighths. The denominators are not the same. First, we can add the whole numbers together. We have 2 and 4 in the whole numbers. 2 plus 4 is 6. Then we need to add the fractions. Since the denominators are different, we need to make the denominators the same. The LCD of 7 and 8 is 56. We need to make the denominator the same as 56. Since we multiply the bottom by 8 in the first fraction, we need to multiply top number by 8 as well. Also, we need to multiply the bottom by 7 in the second fraction. We need to multiply top number by 7 as well. The denominator is 56 and the numerator numerators should be added. 3 times 8 is 24 and 7 times 7 is 49 so 24 plus 49 is 73. The answer is 73 over 56. Seventy-three over fifty-six is an improper fraction, so we are going to change it into mixed numbers. Fifty-six goes into seventy-three one time. Fifty-six times one is fifty-six. Seventy-three minus fifty-six is seventeen. Seventeen is the remainder. 73 over 56 equals 1 and 17 over 56. We need to add the whole numbers together. 6 plus 1 equals 7. The final answer is 7 and 17 over 56. When 2 and 3 7 is being added with 4 and 7 eighths. The final answer is 7 and 17 56.